Hey there, it's Ty here and welcome back to day 17 of Vlogmas. I don't know what this is because this is not a 7. But welcome to day 17 of Vlogmas. It's a sad day here on Vlogmas Land on my channel because we are flying back to Houston. It's currently 5 a.m. and it has been a long, long morning. We will catch up with you guys soon, but we fly out at 6 and I'm really sad. Are you sad? Yeah, you did it! Hey, we made it! Yay, Houston! Oh, we uh, oh, shit. see, look, we oh, okay. Shit. We have not been in town for more than like maybe ten seconds, and we're already about to die. But I forgot how to drive. It, it's true though. We drove n to zero amount while we were in Alaska. But Houston, we're back. Sadly. <laughs> because I'm just so excited that we are back. Not really, no, I'm really actually kind of sad. I don't know what they're doing, but they're about to die. We about to die. Oh my God, Houston, we have a problem. Get it? It's not focusing and it looks like I'm in hell, which is actually a really good representation wow, of where we're at, so. Huh. Did you get me ketchup? Where's my ketchup? Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I'm home now. It's actually the next day. I'm editing the vlog right now, which is going up late because I just woke up from a fat ass nap. But I'm editing the vlog right now and I felt that it was just a wee bit too short. So I thought that I would come on here and close it out. We got in last night and of course the first thing we had to do when we got into Houston was go to Raising Cane's, which was kind of funny because while we were in Alaska, one of the days when we went to Target, we passed by Raising Cane's, but they were still building it and it got our hopes up. So we had been craving Raising Cane's ever since then, which I mean, I crave Raising Cane's on a daily basis so what's new for me we got in last night we went to raising canes and we got home and I was just way too tired and I had work this morning at 4 a.m. which sucked because even though Alaska is only three hours behind us it still got me good last night and I could not sleep so I was like super tired when I got home today and I accidentally took an hour and a half nap when I was trying to take a 30 minute nap so I wanted to close up this vlog and say that I had an amazing time in Alaska so thank you Alaska and thank you for all of y'all who watched vlogmas with me and Chris if you're watching this Thank you for such an amazing birthday. Literally one of the best birthdays I have ever had, if not the best, because I've always wanted to go to Alaska since I was a little kid. And I know that we didn't get to do everything we wanted to do. What I mean by this is that we had a lot of things planned that we wanted to do. For instance, the main thing that I wanted to do while I was in Alaska was I wanted to see the Aura Borealis or the Northern Lights. And so we booked through a tour company to take us out one night to go see it and take pictures and all that stuff, right? We booked it and then we put each day that we were available, which is pretty much every single day that week, what they were supposed to do was they were supposed to contact us on the night that they think that we would be able to see it, that they can go and take us to it, and that if we, and if it wasn't for, <laughs> say hi. But if we couldn't see it on a certain night, they would just take one of the other days that were available to us and they would take us out on one of those nights. Well, we got in and it instantly started snowing and all the locals were like, yeah, 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 y'all came at like the best possible time because we were getting no snow up until now. It was great to finally actually experience and see snow and play in snow and all that good stuff. But it sucked because it made it to where we could not see the Northern Lights. So every single night, the tour ended up canceling on us. It was things like that that we weren't able to do due to like the weather or the time of the year because during the winter time Alaska only gets five hours of sunlight so it made a lot of things difficult so the only thing that we had planned out to do were like the museum and the wolf encounter that we were able to do everything else either got canceled or we just weren't able to trek out to go do it so that's what that means. just wanted to clarify a little bit we just have to go back but I still had such an amazing time also look how cute these slippers are I love these even though we ended up not taking our Christmas pictures like I wanted to with the pajamas I love these and they're so soft. I also ended up not filming a lot yesterday because it was just a lot of waking up early and jumping from plane to plane because literally we would touch down and we would make it all the way to the other gate and it would just be time to board all over again. So there was really no time to vlog but also it just wasn't that exciting. Not that this is exciting at all. I was pretty excited though because when we made it to the Alaskan airport I was able to find this Starbucks mug. It's the design to their You Are Here mug but it's actually their discontinue type which all of my You Are Here mugs they're this kind 
except for the Alaska one, which makes me kind of sad because I loved this style. But I was able to find the ornament version to go on the Christmas tree this year because every year Chris and I get an ornament that represents that specific Christmas or that year. And so I thought this was so perfect because one, we went to Alaska this year. And two, the main thing we did in Alaska was drink coffee. So I thought that was like super cute. So I got that and it's not focusing, but I love it. It's like five in the afternoon right now and I just made a pot of coffee that's finishing up now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Alaska trip because I know I did. Like I said, Chris, thank you so much. Thank you to all of y'all that watched and enjoyed it with me. And thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. Literally one of the best birthdays I've ever had. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social medias, as always, the links will be in the description below. And until next time, stay rad. Bye. Who the hell is calling me?